In this mini masterclass we are going to cover the anatomy of a neuron. So what do they do and what do they look like? Well, their main job is communication, sending and receiving signals from other neurons, transmitting electrical signals along its length depending on the signals it receives, and then passing on the signal to other neurons using chemical messages. We're going to cover how neurons communicate in another class. So here is a typical looking neuron. They don't all look the same and can vary massively in size depending on how far they have to send their signals. These tree-like structures are called dendrites. They receive the signals from other neurons and they can receive input from any, anywhere up to 10,000 other neurons. This is the cell body or soma, which collects together and adds the signals that the dendrites have received from other neurons. Like any other cell in your body, neurons have a nucleus which is the cell's control centre. It contains the cell's DNA and lives inside the soma. When enough signals have arrived at the cell body, the axon hillock and initial segment start sending electrical signals away from the cell body down the axon. These electrical signals are called action potentials. We will cover action potentials in more detail in another class. To help the axon communicate electrical signals quickly and reliably, it is insulated by a fatty substance called the myelin sheath a bit like the plastic coating around a wire that carries electrical signals in your house. Schwann cells produce the myelin sheath that wraps around axons. The nodes of Ranvier break up this insulation of the axon at intervals. This interruption in the myelin forces the electrical impulses to jump from one bit of insulated axon to another, catapulting the signal down the axon. At the end of the axon is the axon terminal, shaped like a button, these are the parts of a neuron that makes a connection called a synapse with other neurons. We will cover how synapses work in another class.